thank you, Oregon, for, for having us here. The people from Oregon are some of the greatest folks that we've come across. We've been here for two days now. And we just have to say this to the Wilson family, the Jessica's family, and Logan's family. Our hearts go out to you. Sadly, this has been something that we've been experiencing on a very unfortunately regular basis. And we're doing everything that we can to, to try to inform the public, inform our congressmen and our local politicians that our laws are here for a reason. And all these beautiful people who are here today in, in memory are the reasons. And the reasons are for the people who unfortunately will die in the future. You know, this is a vigil but the Remembrance Project in itself is a kind of a vigil in itself. It is a 24, seven days a week, 365 days a year, going on almost 10 years now. We honor and remember in solidarity with others, families like the Wilsons who've lost and have given so much, the ultimate. We started we started in 2009 with a simple seeing of a message on, on the TV. It was a newscast where, the, where a Houston police officer, the town we lived in, was killed by an illegal alien. In that same story, there was another officer killed. And so we thought, how can we, how can we figure this out? It, no one's talking about this. And so we did a little bit of research. We found that there were over the next couple of years, that five out of six of the Houston police officers were killed by illegal aliens, and we thought we're in a bubble. Unfortunately, we're not in a bubble in Houston. It is an epidemic of killing across the nation. Now, I'd like to introduce Marie Espinoza. She is my wife, she is my best friend, she is your friend, she is America's friend, because before Maria took this across the nation, there was no movement of Americans who were killed by illegal aliens. No one was talking about it. As a matter of fact, we did what was not being done, and that was put the dots together, connect the dots, because you could have an American killed by an illegal alien in Salem. If it was a car accident, a drunk driving accident, that may not even reach to e Eugene or, 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 or Portland. It was local news, and you can see it many, many times. And it always goes away the next day because there are new articles, there are new news, and the only people left with it after the time when this calms down is the families. The families are left with this. And all the families that I saw that Maria brought to us and who reached out to us, each and every one of them said, we thought we were alone. And so we wanted to let them know that they are not alone. And so this is what Maria has been doing. She trained angel moms across the country to come out and speak openly on TV, on radio, and talk about the injustice that has taken place at the hands of illegal aliens. But more importantly, it's because the United States government refused to secure the border and refused to enforce interior immigration laws. And so over the years, we've met hundreds of families, We've put thousands of these out, and unfortunately, there are more every single day. And so without further ado, I would like to introduce to you the woman who actually created this movement of recognizing Americans who've been killed by illegal aliens and loving them. She loves her country, she loves her God, she loves her family, and she loves you. I'd like to introduce to you my wife, Maria Espinoza. <laughs> 